you're looking at here, particularly the building on the left, with the little turret which is long gone, is the old um, former Canning Town Library and Public Hall. Former Public Hall and Library, built between 1892 and 1894 by the Corporation of the Borough of West Ham, to designs by Borough Engineer and Architect Louisa Angel. The library was opened by Passmore Edwards in 1893. Um, an additional plaque notes the restoration of the library after wartime damage, and the plaque stated 52 to 1952 to 53. We'll see a bit more of the wartime damage in a minute. From 1993 onwards, the library was used as a library and a community centre, and it closed in 2018. Here we see it, nice black and white image, with the turret, if you notice the little turret thing on top. The library received a hit in the Second World War, which basically destroyed the turret and caused quite a lot of damage. And they restored and rebuilt and they uh, basically put a kind of a different roof on it and took the turret away. But the plaque from 1952 says about that. And the restorations left us with this. And so a public library that hosted political speakers such as Keir Hardy, Sylvia Pankhurst, <clears throat> and gave birth to one of Britain's biggest trade unions, was set to become a Nando's until public outrage thankfully quashed that idea. And now we'll find out what's to become of the old Canning Town Library, and then as we go on, we'll see the new one, which I absolutely detest. So join me, Barking Road, for Canning Town Library. There we are. Nice to see something being done kind of for the community. I was worried about this one. This is the Canning Town Old Library. And it's going to be turned into a heritage centre, like a museum. Yeah. It's completely stripped out and emptied inside now, from what I gather. Yeah. Be nice to uh, see this one when it's all done. It's got some lovely. Uh, architectural features on it the library take a snap of that inside the library are um, plaques and stuff from when it was built it was badly damaged in the war and then restored and I hope they keep the um, original staircase that winds round and goes up the top there come and find out about plans for this building at Canning Town Library across the road today 12 to 2 ah. This stone was laid by Alderman G. May, J.P., Mayor of West Ham, 18th of July, 1892. Architect Louis Angel, or Angel. Builder W. Gregory, son. Town clerk Fred. E. Hillary LLD yeah it's going to be done up so that would be nice to see and I shall look forward to seeing it, seeing it as a museum so just a little update as I say look about the um, architectural details on this one it's a nice old building yeah. Wish you luck guys and girls that was just a little update hope you all found that interesting and i will of course cover it when it opens as a museum or heritage center see you all then hopefully and so the new chapter for the library will be a heritage center i hope that goes ahead and when we lost the library i'll now take you to where they moved it to which is what we got in its place so we shall, off we shall go into what now passes for Rathbone Market. A very, very, very different, completely different area to 
the one I remember and what many of you ladies and gents will remember. I remember Rafi from when I was a kid and it was a lovely market, it really was nice. Uh, times change. As Mr. Fezziwig from Scrooge says, the Alistair Sims one. I must cleave to the old ways and die out with them if I must. I don't like all this change. And this is what they put in its place, the library, the new library. And all these blocks and everything are what went up when they basically ripped the heart out of Rathbone Market. the end of this video will be some pictures of Rathbone Market how it was years ago because obviously many of us, especially of my generation, remember it being here. But originally it was a street, like a Rathbone street. The market was in the street. So, yeah. So there'll be a bit of then and now on this one. But there's been a lot of changes in the area. That's uh, the library, community links, this, I believe, used to be a solicitor's of some kind and whatnot. It's a tile warehouse now. This block was newish. And do you remember when Grenfell Tower fire happened? This block had the same or very similar cladding onto it. And they took it off bloody quick and put it back on. Or well, they put it new back on. It's been off for a while, all the cladding. But yeah, you've got um, Anchor House over here. St. Uh, Margaret's Church. I can never remember the name of it, just pointing up a minute. Yeah, this is all what went up in this place. Dental surgery over there, decent little dentist if you can get on their books. I owe them people, they helped a lot when my other dentist screwed me up very, very badly. So, yeah, anyway. This is Anchor House now. This and this bit here. These are the new flats, and they're getting their cladding on. And it is St. Margaret's Catholic Church, just there. I'll take you to the edge, and because you've got the Royal Oak there. And we are now on the Barking Road. It goes down to Canning Town Station, just round that way. And this thing is where um, MFI used to be, this great big tall tower block. It's very tall. Uh, yeah, the area has massively changed as you can see. Anyway, back off into the past now for a view of old Rathbone Street, how it was years ago. So, off we go. Rathbone Street Market, or Rathbone Market as we know it today. Rathbone Market can trace its origins back to this man here, King Henry III, and the year 1253, when the King promised a Wednesday market in the West Hamlet, West Ham, forever. Until the 19th century, the market thrived on Victoria Dock Road, but the introduction of tram lines meant it needed to find a new home. This new home was Rathbone Street in Canning Town, from which the market takes its name. The market, which was particularly known for its herbalists, continued to prosper in its new location at times stretching for nearly a quarter of a mile along Old Rathbone Street. Here's a Rathbone Street Market legend, Mrs Ollie's Pie and Mash Shop, and the eels from there apparently were to die for. I don't eat eels myself, but I've heard good things about Mrs Ollie and this shop. Another memory that my nan used to have, um, late 20s, there was a bloke down there, he was known as Keldory Jack and you could go to him and buy a bowl of hot pea soup and that's what my nan, my nan used to go down there with her dad and her sisters and they'd be given a few bob each and go and buy a nice hot bowl of hot pea soup glass of hot sarsaparilla and then they'd go to the uh, they'd go on a Friday a late afternoon early evening when the cheaper bits were going and they'd go to a store and buy all broken sweets and stuff and one of my nan's favourites was something called bird fruit which is like a little coloured see-through bits of sweets from what she described it as. In 1963 the local council moved the market to the current site just off of Barking Road 
At its peak, the market had 160 stalls, as well as specialist second-hand clothes, textiles, bric-a-brac markets. Every year a major market was held on Good Friday, attracting hundreds of traders and many thousands of shoppers. In 2009, planning consent was granted for the redevelopment of Rathbone Market site to include 600 new homes, shops, a new library and community centre and a market square. And the new market square opened in 2015 and what we saw in my video is what passes for Rathbone Market nowadays and you think these old boys and girls must be literally turning in their graves. I don't remember Rathbone Street, the market being there, but I do remember it in its current site as it was when I was younger, and especially on Good Friday. I mean, wow, well, that was an amazing atmosphere. It really was. Then you've got the old Royal Oak uh, top right. You have the boxing gym up there, Frank Bruno trained there. Caters. I often look out in these pictures to see if I can spot any relatives, but I haven't in this one. If you, ladies and gents, spot anyone that you know, please let me know. And to end us off with a complete Canning Town legend, you have to. If you do anything on Rathbone Street and Canning Town, you must remember mention Murkoff's, the ice cream. That was still there up until I was about 13 or 14. And when I say we queued up, to get a little tub of ice cream with a little wooden spoon we proper queued up for that and it was lovely it was the best ice cream I've ever tasted anyway I hope you all enjoyed this little wander down memory lane and we're going to be moving on a little bit further along the Barking Road now up to where McDonald's now is and where Holy Trinity Church was uh, for a little bit of now and then on that one so join me there and we're a little bit further along the Barking Road Rathbone Street's just back down that way. Um, this is where Holy Trinity Church used to be, now called Trinity Gardens. But that thing I shared the other day about the Canning Town fire above Ladbrokes, that's it. And you can see the, the damage it's caused. Bloke in the shop I just went in said he thinks it was um, a chip pan fire that caused it. So God knows, but they're clearing all stuff out of there now. And that's McDonald's over there, and I can never remember what was there before, but I know there was a building there before, if anyone can help with that one. And you've got Flindles Dentist, Cribs. And looking back down the Barking Road, you can just see the top of the Community Link Centre there. Anyway, we'll zip back into the past for some old photos, and off we go. But I really love this old photograph, 1924, and it was taken more or less from the same angle that I filmed from. <clears throat> Over to the extreme left, you can see the same buildings, which sadly burnt out now above, but is there today. I mean, it's a Ladbrokes in our time and age. It's obviously an old shop back then, but the top part of it, style-wise, hasn't changed at all really. Um, we're on the Barking Road, of course, in this photo. Over to the left you've got the intersection of Hermit Road and over to the right you've got Beckton Road. And first and foremost our focal point in this picture is Holy Trinity Church. But sadly that was bombed in the Second World War and blown to pieces. Uh, very damaged and they took what was left of it down after the war. And Trinity Gardens are there now. But this is a colourised one I've done. Um, a bit red so with some of them you don't get to choose the colors with some of the basic programs but it adds a bit of life as i say 1924 and a very very different world uh, 99 years ago you get a little view back and some of it hasn't changed as i say like the building over to the left and where mcdonald's is what i asked and said i could never remember i've done a little bit of research myself it was Holy Trinity National School and it later became a tobacco factory. This picture was taken in 1972. I assume it was taken down late 80s, early 90s when um, McDonald's was put up. But yeah, that's what was where McDonald's is now. And the lovely old church, which I want to end with. 
add a few um, ancestral links of my own to this one and many of you ladies and gents will do as well um, this has played a big part of Canning Town life this church many people were married christened and had their funerals from it um, my great great grandparents John and Emma they got married here um, Emma was a Catholic and John was C of E it was, uh, it was an interesting relationship they agreed that their firstborn child would be Church of England next to Catholics so on and so forth and their firstborn child was my great granddad Arthur and he was christened in this church so that's a little bit of links there and a lot of you will have your own links attached to this church uh, I hope you all enjoyed our little wander into the present and the past thanks very much for watching